We're playing with bugs today, guys. Hi, I'm Myra with Boutique Paint. Thanks for joining me. These are the new specimen molds from IOD. And these guys I was playing with last night, painting them up. And we can take these little guys out. And then we'll get to the fun part. The painting of these. I had fun. My son and I had a blast last night painting some of these and just playing with these paints that I got to do this. Um, I picked up these great paints. They're folk art brand and they're called Color Shift and they're fascinating. Um, this is them just painted right over the top of a mold. I think um, if you want it kind of transparent then then this is a good way to go. Um, but I think if you want it um, a little denser color, then paint it what a base color underneath. And let me show you what I mean by that. Um, this is these colors, minus this silver, which I was, I got a new silver to play with. Um, never can find a good silver. But these are these colors. These are all on, obviously, white. And you can see that, like, this one doesn't really look like this. So, and you can see on the top... And that actually probably represents that a little bit better. But if you paint it with black, this is the same lineup. This is the exact same lineup on the black. So I just put down a coat of um, DIY uh, black velvet paint and then put these over. This is two coats. This is one coat. It changes everything. And that's what I did with this little guy. So this little guy has got black under him. And then this one, I had nothing. I just, it's just the resin. So kind of fun to play with, depending on what under colors you might want. Um, once again, this is um, just on the resin, but aren't those pretty? They're just gorgeous colors. We're just going to... Give these guys a quick coat on both sides because sometimes you have kids in your house and they take what you've made and they turn them around and they play with them. And so you don't want the back to look, look good too in this case. I'm going to go ahead and put that down on the plate and paint it. let those dry a little bit let's see I think I want to play a little bit and try a different color on this one for a background just out of curiosity sake so before I go and paint the rest of these what I want to do is I got some wire and this came in a big roll but there's all different kinds of ways you can get metal the hardware store has actually pieces that are straight but um, I had this wire so that's what I'm gonna use and I found a drill bit, and the way I tell if it's the right size when you're drilling is I set them next to each other. And if I, usually if I can't see the edges on the sides, then that's gonna be the right size. So I'm gonna put that into my drill motor. And we're gonna attempt to um, put a little hole on the rumpus. Let's give that a shot and make sure there we go and I'm just gonna turn that a little bit perfect so I'm gonna get my little chart out again so I know what what things look like this one here is black and then this color here which when you look at it through the bottle it makes sense but when you look at it through the top not so much so um, you know I would have thought, looking at that, oops, that this that would have been this color, and it, yet it's not. So we're just going to play and see what we come up with. So I'm going to start out with this one. So I'm just going to put a little bit, and then we're going to grab one of these guys, and we're going to start painting. And you can see right there, it's kind of two-tone colors. 
So the more you work it in, um, the more it kind of mixes. That you can see it on the plate there. Oops. See that it's kind of just multicolor. It's real fun. Kind of holographic. But you know, the, the bugs were always kind of, they are two-toned and they are um, very colorful. And I'm not going to follow any um, color uh, combination here. I'm just kind of having fun with it. I'm not doing um, matching a certain uh, beetle here. I want to try this color on him. And you don't need much. You just need a teeny, teeny, tiny dollop of it. This one's kind of cool because it the underneath is coming through a little bit. The black is is showing a little bit more through this. Don't forget to get their little sides. Oops. So I think I'm going to try this same color over the orange just so we have some comparison of what um, this color would look like. That's over the black. And now we're going to, I'm going to add a little bit more. I had to buy all the colors that they had. I couldn't leave. They were actually out of a couple colors, which I would have liked to have had. But I was the same way when I was in school. Um, we had to get colored pens when I was in college and um, I had to have all the colors. I can't just, you can't leave a color behind. There are just so many pretty colors and you don't want to, what if you need that one color? <laughs> so whenever there's anything with colors, I'm, I have to have them all. My son, on the other hand, is so conservative, probably because he sees what I do. Um, and he only will buy certain ones, but he paints models. And, uh, so he's very conservative about what he gets. That being said, if there's something special that he needs, he's over here in my stash. So that that helps him a little bit too. Well, this is definitely coming out interesting. It's definitely uh, a lot of different tones on this. Now also, you know, you could paint the top, the head one color, you could underneath, and then you could um, paint the bottom a second color, and that would give you a cool effect too. And because I'm using DIY as the underneath coat, I am sure I am activating the coat underneath it, especially with this one, um, which is probably adding even more detail. So the orange would start mixing a little bit with this, but look how cool that is. That is just such an awesome mixture there. I like the way the orange is coming through in spots. On this one, what I ended up doing is I painted one coat of this and then I took some black paint and I just painted it in the crease here with a flat brush and just went along and I wasn't super careful you can tell but then I put the second coat of paint over the top and it just looks very natural like it's part of the the wings there 
So this one I'm going to add a little bit of black, but I'm going to kind of dry brush it. And so I'm just going to get a little bit on my paintbrush and then I'm going to offload it onto my paper. And I'm just going to go over the top. And when you're doing it, you want to go at that angle. And that just kind of gives a little bit of highlight and brings the black back out. We'll just um, add a little bit of black in the creases. Now if you get too much, don't panic. I'm just going to take a baby wipe, a very used and loved baby wipe. I'm just going to go over the top and pull some of that off. Now I can also go over it again with the paint. That isn't the color I used, does it? Now I don't even remember what color I used on what. I think I used this one. Yes. I think I'm going to take pull a little bit of the screen and add it to the top here. So originally I was thinking I wanted my blocks um, to be white and then I started thinking about it. I thought, no, I want them a little bit more natural. And basically I just took a sanding block and smoothed the edges just a smidge. So on these two, I'm going to use weathered wood. Okay, paintbrush. I just want to wipe it back a little bit. So some of the wood showing. And just do one side at a time. Nice thing about that is when you wipe it back, then it's no problem turning it and painting the next side. So next what we want to do is we want to drill holes in the center. And I'm just going to eyeball it. If you're worried about it, go ahead and measure. Um, I've got my wire. I've got my hot glue heated up. And I'm just going to put it, well, I think I'm going to put it right on the, the metal. And in. Next, we're going to put the bugs on them. So because... This wire is my tallest wire. I'm going to put my biggest bug on there. And I didn't paint the back yet, but I will. And I'm just going to, same thing, I'm going to put the dollop of glue. And then I'm going to get the extra glue off. So that is our project for today. If you have any questions, you can go to our website at www.boutiquepaint.com. And thank you so much for joining me.